Okay, let's face it, these new Roblox Studio icons are horrendous. Like, they just look so bad, and like, if you open up a new script and you put a local script, it just doesn't feel right. So I'm going to be showing you the two ways that you can change your logos to look better, or on how you can get it back to the original state. So if you want to get your logos back to the original state that they were before, all you need to do is head to File, then head to Beta Features, and now I would make this a bit larger so I can see what I'm doing. And then what we need to do is scroll down and until we see new icons slash DPI aware studio. We're going to click on that. I just lost it. It will be ticked on or it will most likely be ticked on if you haven't got the new icons there. There they are. And we're going to select that. We're going to click save and then we're going to restart. No, I do not want to save. Okay, we're restarting, let's give it a couple of seconds. Okay, we're loading back in. And as you can see, we're back to the original Roblox Studio icons. I think it may be a little bit buggy, because when I install the script, you can see that it highlights the icon. So, it may be buggy, I don't know if they will fix that. But at the moment, if you don't want there to be that bug where the selection is a bit weird, I'd recommend going back to the icons, or following the second option there is. Now the second option is to install a pack called Vanilla 3, there will be a link to that down in the description down below, and this is a really really nice, these icons look so fantastic, I'll put a picture of them up on the screen right now, and to install these we're going to head to this link, as you can see, it's by this guy, I'll leave a link to him, I have no idea how to pronounce his name so I'm very sorry, and we're just going to scroll down, and we're going to see visit the Vanilla webpage, we're going to click on this, and then we're going to click download now. I would really appreciate if you could donate to him. I will definitely drop a couple of dollars later. However, as it is a free resource, you can always just click no thanks, just take me to the downloads. And then what you need to do is click and download. Now it will download. And then what you need to do is you need to head to your downloads and you need to extract it. So right click, extract all, extract. And now this part may take a bit of a while, so just wait. Okay, so now that is finished extracting, what we're going to do is we need to re-enable that feature we disabled earlier on. If it's already enabled for you, then just keep it as it is. But if you do not have new icons slash DPI aware studio, make sure you click on that and then click save. Then you can restart later. And next what we're going to do is we need to set the icons file. So we're going to head over to studio settings. Then I'm going to search for icons. Aha, okay, so the reason it removed the icons directory is because we need to restart studio to have those new effects. So let's restart it then. We're going to close, we're going to save, and we're going to reopen, nope, not Visual Studio, but we're going to reopen studio. And then once it's open, we're going to save that, so, yep, there it is. And then what we're going to do is we just need to set the icon directory. So head to file, studio settings. And there we can see, now we have custom icon door. So we're going to click on this, we're going to head back to downloads, we're going to click on vanilla 3. Now you're going to pick what colour you want, personally I like the colourful, so let's click on colourful. And then you click on what type you have, so if you click on dark, you click on dark. If you have light, you click on light. I have dark, so all I'm going to do is click on dark, and then I'm going to select folder. Make sure you don't select Roblox custom. So now I have dark selected, I'm going to select folder. I'm going to close and then I'm going to restart studio and then when you can see when we boot into the new studio we have these new icons and as you can see here they are they look so much better you can actually read them and they look pretty good so with the script this is how a local script looks and it's easy to tell the difference and honestly it looks so much better so thank you for tuning in to today's video if you have any questions please head over to the forms that's forms.thecookie.dev and someone will be able to help you there thank you for tuning in that's all for me and bye bye